There are many ways to make custom shapes using Lightburn's design tools, and today we will explore some of the most powerful ones. Weld, cut shapes, and the Boolean modifiers. Each of these tools allows you to add and remove primitive shapes from each other to build up more complex shapes. Let's start with the Boolean modifiers. I'm going to select these and click Tools, Boolean Assistant, which can show us what we can do to them. Union combines both objects together. Intersection keeps only the bits that overlap. And Subtract removes one object from the other. These tools work on two closed vector objects, meaning not images or lines. We want shapes that are all joined up with an unbroken perimeter. These objects can be individual shapes, such as circles, rectangles, polygons, or custom shapes made with the node edit tools. And they can also be groups of these shapes, including text. Once you're familiar with the Boolean tools through the assistant, you can access each tool directly from the sidebar or the tools menu. To subtract without the assistant, select the object you wish to keep first. Then, while holding shift, add the object you wish to remove from it to your selection. Then apply tools, Boolean difference. This button will also apply Boolean difference, and it's a handy one to use, because if you select your objects in the wrong order, it's easy to flip them. You only need to undo it with Ctrl Z and click the button again. Weld is similar to Boolean Union in that it joins things together, but it works on more than two objects, allowing you to quickly create an outline around many overlapping shapes. If you're left with undesired internal shapes, you can simply ungroup the resulting object and delete the parts you don't want. When welding shapes that lie entirely within other shapes, Weld tries to predict what should be kept. If you don't get the results you're after, try grouping related shapes and using Boolean Union instead. Let's take a look at cut shapes. With this tool, you can cut an object or a group of objects into pieces by first selecting the object you wish to cut and then selecting a cutting shape. Once you've done that, click Tools, Cut Shapes, and your first object will be cut along the edges of your last object. Cut Shapes is particularly great because unlike the Boolean tools, it can be used to cut open shapes such as individual lines or curves. Only the cutting shape needs to be a closed path. Once you are comfy with these tools, there are many others that you will likely find very useful as you create your own designs. We've added some links below to our other videos and some documentation on these topics to get you started. While you're down there, subscribe so you don't miss any other tips. And remember, if you get stuck, we are more than happy to help. Reach out via the forum or our support email. Happy burning!